when I say that I am stressed, it's so fascinating actually, because obviously I went into these interviews with certain biases about all the different individuals because of what they wrote on their applications. So I just had, you know, a few photos and their application answers, and you kind of create who somebody is in your mind. All of them are great fits for Heather on paper, but then after chatting with them, my opinion on who might be better for Heather is actually different than what I thought going into it. But then I'm second guessing myself because there's certain things that on paper made more sense. Ah, oh, I just want to make the right call. And <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. I feel like people are going to watch this and be like, why would you choose that person? Clearly this person was the perfect person for Heather. <sighs> Here's my thing. I think Liana, while wonderful, is too young. That's just my gut feeling. I think that Heather needs somebody a bit older. Otherwise, check so many boxes. Creative, singer, plays instruments, within driving distance. I mean, not right now because of the pandemic, but like we talked about, right over the border, but just too young is my gut vibe. And then we have other Liana who is in Montreal. And on paper made so much sense, but the couple things that stood out to me were the fact that they mentioned that closeness was really important. And Heather's not close. <laughs> And for Heather, that's almost the opposite. Like my experience being friends with Heather and seeing her date people is that she actually really likes her space. And some of the reason I think long distance actually works for Heather is because she gets that independence. So like, I agree with Liana, like I am that kind of person. I want my partner to be like close all the time. First of all, I don't think that's how Heather is. And second of all, I don't think Liana would vibe with the fact that Heather was so far away. I mean, I know they said that they would be open to it, but I just got the sense that that wasn't their ideal. And then the second thing that stood out to me that maybe wasn't a match was the fact that they were an introvert. So they said they'd still go out and have an adventure and everything else, but I just know Heather really likes to be around big groups of people all the time, likes to go out. So I just don't think that's a match. I don't think that's a match. Otherwise, everything like, so many boxes were checked. The fact that they're creative, they're a poet, they you know, are so involved in politics and I think their ideals really line up with Heather's. And I just, there's a couple things that just didn't fit, I think. And then there's Danny and Danny is so fantastic. Again, drivable, not in a pandemic world, but eventually very drivable. Creative, currently working on an album. That was something that Heather mentioned was really important. I love Danny's answer about politics and the fact that they have a family that thinks it's important to talk about, you know, the tough stuff and that they come out of that with more respect for people after deep conversations. I think that's so Heather. I think Heather would really appreciate that. Again, Heather would love that they're so creative. Drivable. Who am I gonna choose? Okay, a huge thank you to all three of the contestants because they are all so great and in so many ways would be such a great fit for Heather. And I'm actually kind of shocked at how well this worked because we found three individuals who would actually make sense for my friend, which is cool. Okay, let's talk to Heather. Oh, okay. All right, so Heather's here. I'm gonna chat with her for a bit and then we're gonna add Danny. I'm gonna get out of the Zoom and we're gonna watch them on their first date. <laughs> this is crazy. Heather, we are here. We think we have found your match. Okay, I'm anxious about it. You told me the other day you thought you had, you were like, found your, found your person and I'm like, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> You're like, how do I back out of this now? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. So this is something I wanted to chat with you about quick before we bring them in. Mm -hmm. It's so wild because I thought I was going to pick somebody else. Really? Based on the on paper information that was provided, I mm -hmm. was like pretty biased and sold going into the interviews. 
on one individual and ended up picking someone completely different. I'm so excited to watch back and see why yeah. that happened. Yeah, because I it was really fascinating and I think it's actually, I was just saying to Julia off camera that I think it's actually something really important to note for people that are dating online that you get such a different vibe when you actually like communicate with someone um, mm -hmm. than you do like on paper or just from photos or like the way that the person messages. Like yeah. everyone surprised me in some way. So like the way I thought this was gonna go is it did not go that way. Okay, that's really, I'm excited to see. I feel like it's just gonna be you and Julia talking shit about me for like <laughs> 10 minutes while you sort through people. Which would still be good. I would still enjoy that. I got I got ready. Yeah. Um, and I it feels really foreign. I haven't worn this much makeup in a very long time. This is fun. You look beautiful. I'm so excited for you. I think we found someone that's gonna be really interesting to you. Um, without giving away too much, they checked off a lot of boxes. Mm -hmm. Um, their pronouns are they them. Uh, mm -hmm. they identify as queer, trans. They're open to long distance within reason. Um, I really particularly liked their answers when it came to politics. I think you both are going to be very much in line. Um, and they're very creative, super creative, um, without saying too much, but you can ask them about that. They're outgoing, confident. So like, I just think they checked a lot of the boxes that we discussed. Where do they live? I can't tell you. You're going to have to ask. <laughs> no, Brie, I swear if it's another American. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, well, we'll see. Okay, so basically how it's gonna work is I'm going to send them the link. I am gonna kick rocks out of here, like when it comes to video and audio. And just listen in like big brother. <laughs> I'm gonna keep screen recording, but I am gonna mute it, so don't feel that pressure. Um, so I won't be like watching like a hawk. This person in particular is so easy to talk to. Like I really enjoyed speaking with them. So I think you'll have a good time. The only restriction is it's 15 minutes. So from the time that they join to when 15 minutes later, um, just like wrap it up to say, okay, like Bree said we had 15 minutes, we gotta go. Do you have an activity planned or are we just no. gonna? You said. <laughs> You said, okay. you said, don't worry about it. I'm gonna have an activity planned and you're just gonna throw me into this. I think I have to call 911 right now for my heart. I'm like, I, like, I was fine and now my heart is like. No, I want this to be as genuine as possible. So like, it's just 15 minutes. Just ask them like about where they're from, what they do. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye now. And I'll just, Believe I'll just me. add them in. I'm out. I'm out. I love you. You're going to do amazing. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hi. It's nice to meet you. You too. I'm Danny. I'm Heather. Where do you live? I need to know. They haven't told, they, they didn't tell you like anything? No, I know nothing. Oh, I have no hilarious. idea. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I had no idea. And I'm Brie. Where are you? Okay, 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 this is okay. I'm in Vancouver. <laughs> Cat Canada. Canada, yeah. So okay. borders closed. Like Vancouver, Washington as well. I was like... No, Brie, Brie gave me vibes that it was going to be someone in America, and I was like, please do not be someone who lives in LA. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're so close to each other. Yeah, I know that's good, except also like so far away because the border is, is yep. never... I mean, there's like, there's like the Peace Arch Park, which I yeah. think that like Americans and Canadians can like have a picnic there, but it's not the same vibes. That's so funny too, because um, Brie asked me, she was like, uh, she was like, would you be open to long distance? And like, if so, like where, how much, how far is like too far? And I actually mm -hmm. said like, I was like, I mean, it would be nice if they were like in the US because of like COVID and stuff like that. Yeah. And then after I got off the call, I was like, I guess like Canada is like also like, I wasn't really, I was just thinking like North America, but it was really funny. And like getting a green card to Canada is like a gold ticket right now. Like yeah. priceless. The healthcare, oh the yeah. civil rights. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a the mess. Ability to now. exist. Yeah. Classic. Maybe we should like cover the basics. So, yeah. So how old are you? I'm 26. How old are you? I'm 27. I just turned 27. It's, nice. it's, it's new though. Like 27 is a different, I feel like I went from like 30 to 40 overnight with 27. Really? It's different. It 25 different. felt pretty big for me. 
um, 25 was good, but I, did you not feel like 25 was like a quarter life crisis? Oh yeah, I had, I had like a massive crisis for like six months leading up to it. 25 was the worst year of my life. It was like, horrible. It was so and then 26, <laughs> you like, you learn your lessons and you start to like figure shit out. And then I feel like 27 is like, okay, I feel like I'm almost an adult now. Like I feel like I have my life together yeah. somewhat. Nice. When's your birthday? You said you just turned 27? January 4th. So I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. Nice. What are you? I'm a Cancer. Okay. I'm okay with Cancers. I like Cancers. <laughs> I need like that emotional, like, I need someone emotional in my life because I feel like oh, I could be well, so that's logical. Good. <laughs> Do you feel like you're like a Cancer? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, like I'm emotionally? Super, yeah. I'm really, I'm a very emotional person. I feel a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel for sure connected to Cancer. Um, I love like comfort and like making food and taking care of people and stuff like that. It's like super fitting for me. Do you feel like a Capricorn? I'm like a fun Capricorn. Like <laughs> I'm like, I feel like Capricorns have a really bad reputation because they're so like, they're like, I'm trying to be politically correct with what I say. They're basically just like the boss in the office that's cold and nobody likes, I feel like, which yeah. I think I am, um, but I'm like fun with it. Like I have a lot of different things in my chart. So I feel like I'm a fun Capricorn. Like, yes, I'm work oriented and I'm a workaholic, but I'm also like, I know how to chill and I'm getting better at like being emotional. Like I'm very in touch mm -hmm. with my life now, but that also is because I feel like I've dated really emotional people in the past. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, as long as I am an I. <laughs> my best friend's a Gemini and I really really understand that um yeah I feel like I'm also like a fun cancer I feel like cancers get the rap of like crying all the time um yeah and uh I do cry frequently but I'm not like a sad wallowy cancer so yeah you cry you get it out and then you're like let's move on and then I'm like okay let's like go do something fun yeah for yeah. sure I just happy cry like I never really sad cry if I get like my I heart broken I'll shed a tear, but I happy cry. Like I'll see a cute chicken and it's game over. Like I'm oh, fine. Same. 15 minutes. Oh, especially um, animals, yeah. Were you nervous? You seem like very comfortable and confident. That's why I'm asking. Oh, I'm glad that it's coming across that way. I I, I, I was really nervous before I talked to Brie earlier. Um, and then I had to like, I, I played guitar for a little bit to like chill myself out. I don't know, like there's something about like, even when I'm FaceTiming my friends, like I, I don't really, um, like love like tech stuff so like i think i was mostly nervous about just like getting the zoom like set up and, like, oh do you, you don't zoom i do i do but i like never do try to like look good on it or something you know oh, like yeah I you've got the, the phone like down here like, <laughs> it. are you feeling nervous um no i'm good now i've got enough cbd in me to keep me going yes. for like three years you said you were playing guitar earlier what do you do is it something with music yeah, I'm a musician. Um, yeah, it's funny. I like, I like had assumed that you were like also going through people's like profiles and like no. applications and stuff. She so this is like really at, funny. She wouldn't let me look at anything. Like she that's was, like, really really funny. I and love. And she that. told me that like she when she was going through people before she had been like I found like your perfect person like that you're gonna like be obsessed with this person and then she did interviews and she was like they weren't for you like this per I like this person for you so you ended up like sneaking in whoa wild I think it's because you're like your charisma maybe I don't know but oh. she said that you're like very personable and so you like snuck in last minute I was worried that wow. you were disappointed by me I was like because she's not picking me for you she picked you for me right. <laughs> so, Oh my gosh, no, not, not, not so far, not so far. I didn't um, want to see the light drain from your eyes when I joined. No, oh my gosh, no, no, that would be sad, but no, no, not at all. Um, yeah, I'm a musician, I'm like, I'm like, what is my life? I feel like I'm like looking around trying to like come up with cues for like how to talk about myself. Yeah, I like in a job interview when they're like, tell me about yourself. I know, and, and it's like, like so open you, you just blank and you just sit there and you're like, I don't know like, who I am. Am I even a person? I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, what is um, my life? Tell me like what you do in music. Like, do you, are you just, do you just like playing guitar or do you play other instruments? No, I'm actually pretty bad at guitar. I, uh, I mostly, <laughs> I mostly sing. I'm a singer songwriter. Um, yeah, so I mostly like sing, write, um, do a lot of that kind of stuff. I'm also like an actor and a visual artist, so I just do like a lot of stuff put together. Um, yeah. I like a lot of creative things. people, so I think that's great. I also think that I have to be careful with, I think singers 
are like, and cancer singers, oh, because no. I feel like they're very emotional. And like what happens, this is a, like an actual fear of mine. Cause one time I broke a girl's heart and she wrote a poetry book about me. We're best friends now, it's funny, it's okay. But I'm like, what if you dated a singer and then you broke up and they wrote music about you. And then you have to, have to hear it and they're gonna release that for people to hear. So singer songwriter, low key, kind of scary, but really cool actually. I never name names, so like there is that. <laughs> You're like specifically the blonde girl from Vancouver. Um, <laughs> I'll do I fucking every other hate you, but I won't say your name, so it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you do? What are you? Um, I do a lot. I well, like my day job, I work in IT or tech, um, doing um, like kind of anti-racism work in healthcare. Um, and then like after work, I do like a lot of nonprofit work because I, in the long run, I want to run to be elected like for, I guess in America, you guys would consider it Congress, but in Canada, it's parliament, um, mm -hmm. hopefully one day. Um, wow. so it seems boring. I seem boring. No, but, like that's why I like creative people because I feel like my energy isn't that businessy. So when I get to like hang out with creative people, I love their energy. And I think that they're just so different for me. Like I don't have a creative bone in my body. So I feel like I vibe with creative people because my, my job is so formal and I just work with like old white men. Like that's, that's working in a STEM field. Like everyone's yeah. old white and conservative. Yeah. So I love creative people. No, that doesn't sound boring at all. I, that sounds fascinating. I like. I want to hear like what you're doing with. In, so, did you say you're working in anti-racism work, like in IT, or is that stuff that's outside? Um, in, so, I work in healthcare. Um, I do the tech behind that. So, I'm right now. I'm building a complaint system. Um, I am implementing like a giant system for the whole organization, and then I built an app for coronavirus response. I didn't build it. I'm not that smart. I just. I just put it together like I'm a project manager so I yeah people that did it I don't have still, the, like, impressive. still impressive I don't have, like the coding but I have a little bit of music in me like I can I can play piano I just don't play like wow. the fun piano I play like Beethoven which is not that's still fun it's not the best time <laughs> I enjoy it but like I don't feel like I could like play it for someone and they'd appreciate it, it would probably just sound like me like hitting a keyboard with a hammer did you go to school yeah I um I actually, I went to three different schools, but I graduated from UW here in Seattle. Oh, I know so many people that went to UW. I feel yeah, like it's a, it's really a big fun school. school. It's, oh, yeah, it is. Party, like it's crazy a little bit. <laughs> I actually, by the time I, um, oh no, time's up. Wrap up this question. Okay. Mm. Um, oh God, that was so fast. Okay. Uh, I actually, like by the time I transferred yeah. to UW, what'd you say? Just speed through it, we'll speed round it. Okay, okay. Like an extra minute uh, I, uh, by the time I went to UW, because I transferred there for like basically the last year and a half of school, I was kind of like over the parties stuff. But when I was living in Seattle before, I definitely used to go to like frat parties at UW. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. I um, cannot believe that you guys have frats there. They do not exist in Canada. Like They're horrible things. I don't know why they exist. They're <laughs> terrible, terrible places. Every um, bad thing that has ever happened to me happened at like a frat party. Yeah, they're disgusting. They're really, yeah. really gross. Um, hence, yeah. when I went to UW, I actually didn't go to those parties anymore because I was old enough to know that they were absolutely disgusting. I feel like um, you went to a good time yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like I did it the right way around. Where did, what did you go to school for? Where did you go? I went to UVic and I did um, for history, foreign policy, um, nice. uh, middle, modern, Middle East. And then um, I did a double major. So my other major was like classics and philosophy. Um, so wow. it's nothing related to IT. I just fell into the career by accident. Yeah. I think we have to wrap it up because yeah. we're yelling in the chat. <laughs> but sorry that I just like interviewed you. I feel like I have to do that to get to know you. <laughs> no, I feel the same way. Yeah. But um, wait, give me like your Instagram or something. If you want to speak to me again, get my contact information yes. for free. I give you okay, cool. when you're watching this back. Yeah. And if you don't contact me, then I guess um, I didn't get the rose. That's a bachelor reference. Um, so sorry, I watch it. Um, if I'm, I love, uh, love, I love to, I, I hate to love the bachelor really. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible and amazing at the same time. I definitely will be trying to contact you if okay. I'm allowed to. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for meeting me. Brie, what do yeah, we do? Do we hang up? Like, I think we just leave. <laughs>
Okay. All right, okay. you leave first because Brie might come on after. Okay. Okay, sounds okay. good. It was so nice okay. meeting you. It was really nice to meet you. Okay, I'll talk okay, to you bye. soon. Hopefully. Bye. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> did you listen? How did it go? Did you not listen? No, I had I had my headphones off. I didn't listen at all. Oh my God, wow, like Scout's honor. We just talked about astrology, which is the most queer conversation ever, and then talked yeah. about like where we went to school. They said they were nervous too, okay. and that they thought that I knew who they were coming into it. Like oh. they thought I helped pick them. No. no like, I hadn't, no, Brie thought that you were good for me. Like Brie selected it. I actually loved talking to them though. They were very like, charismatic and yeah. they didn't seem nervous at all and I had to actually ask them if they were nervous because I was like you seem so calm right now and I'm right? having a panic attack inside that's how I felt when I talked to them because they seemed so confident yeah and I was like oh they seem so chill like they'll be easy to chat with yeah so that's fun good. Okay, well, did you, um, you just said goodbye? Did you exchange information? I, Are you gonna I reach out? I told them that they wanted my information to reach out to you, and that would be oh. me taking it as they gave me a rose. <laughs> okay, well, I'll make sure to pass that on, and I can't wait to give everyone watching an update. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you for doing this.